One year on YouTube. Wow. So, what happened? How did we get here? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Like I said, it's been one year. Well, almost a year. I think January 20th will be one year. So how did we get to this point where we are now? Where we're staring down the barrel of 100,000 subscribers. Now, obviously, it's because of you guys. Everybody decided, you know what? They wanted to support what we were doing here on this channel. And beyond belief blew my mind. Blew my mind. That this many people would be... Um, interested in the same thing and looking at my crazy mug now we've all also got to see the beard grow over the year which has been interesting and highly annoying it's getting very long debating on what to do totally off topic so i thought i'd take a few minutes and tell you guys like what happened what got me into making youtube videos what got me into tattooing how it all went down and how we got here where we are today where did this tattooing at home start from for me i can explain it with a picture this is where I started. This was the room I had. This was it. This was, I could see it and I knew what I wanted to do. I had the space to do it, but I just had to have the focus, the desire, and the will to keep doing it. So I took it from what you see here to what you see in some of my earlier videos. I pretty much just made that place my own shop, how I wanted it to look, how I wanted it to feel. So when people came in, they knew they weren't in a shop, but they got a feeling they were. And that's, I needed that too. It was more important for me as it was for my clients. So that's where it started as far as me on my own. But we have to back up. We have to back up many years to where I was just a young little devil dog Marine with a passion to tattoo, but YouTube wasn't quite what it is today. Nonetheless, I'm not gonna bore you with all of this, but here you can see I was tattooing in my apartment years ago many years ago. I'm surprised this tattoo is still there with the limited information that I had. But as you can see, the desire for me to tattoo has been there for a while. It's trying to figure out how to make things happen. And at some point you have to take a leap. So I took a leap and I started tattooing in that loft. And after a quite a while of learning different techniques and trying to figure out how to make clean lines and all this stuff, I was searching YouTube. I was searching everywhere I could find information. Yes, there's information out there, but I think you gotta try kinda hard and look a little harder, hopes to get a little information, or this, that, and the other. I thought, well, I don't really know a whole lot, but I know what I know. Let me just share that, because I know what I wanted to see like a year ago at that time. So I just started making videos on stuff I wish you know, somebody had a video out for me on, you know? Not saying any of it's perfect, and if you guys follow the channel, you know I'm far from the greatest tattoo artist or even even anything, right? I'm just an average tattoo artist who sharing my experience with you guys and trying to help you guys out. So I began sharing any information I had and I decided I'd do my best to package these little bits of information the best way I could. And over time, it's evolved. I've gotten a little more comfortable at it. It's gonna become a little bit easier. Nonetheless, that's where we started. We started in that loft. We started with a cell phone as our camera. Audio was really bad, not that it's gotten much better. I just did what I could with what I had. And it was the same thing in that little loft. That's what I had, I was gonna maximize it and do the most I could with it. And that's where we started. And as things started to expand and as clientele picked up and videos and everything, it became necessary. We needed a bigger space. We needed somewhere to expand somewhere to call my own and not a spot in my house. I wanted separation, not a lot, just a little. And over the summer, it was time to move. It was time to come to this location. So we packed everything up, we moved here, and this is when I started to get more and more serious with my recording, with editing, with everything. So it just slowly develops. But you have to be consistent in life. You have to be consistent with what you wanna do. You have to know your goals. Things don't just happen you make them happen. And if you want something, you can truly make it happen, but you gotta believe it and you gotta put in the time and the work. And we continue to do that. I continue to do that today. Not every day, not every day. There are definite days in all of our lives where we don't wanna keep doing what we're doing. We get burnt out, we get tired, but you push through, you get past that hump and there's light at the other side. 
And throughout the year, the subscribers started to come in, the comments came in, and the relationships were built. I got to talk to you guys through these comments and build a rapport with several of you, and it's been really cool because I'm kind of out in the sticks here, and I'm not around a bunch of tattoo artists. There's a couple people I talk to and that I know, but aside from that, you guys are pretty much it. And so it's really great to put a video out showing how I do something, and then you guys go, well, that's cool, I do stuff like that, but hey, look, this is the stuff I do. And I have reevaluated so many things after making a video showing how I do it because several of you, like I just said, would be like, that's really cool, whatever, but hey, try this. Have you tried this product? Have you done this? And so as much as I feel like I'm trying to give to you guys, you guys are giving back to me and I really appreciate it. And I do take some of those things that you say and put it to um, practice in, in, in my work and what I do. So again, this is a, a two-way street, guys. You help me, I help you, um, together we grow. And speaking of growing, here we are. We're staring down the barrel of 100,000 subscribers. Sure, we won't quite hit it in under a year, but I think we're gonna hit it in a couple more months. And that's just literally mind-blowing, like I said before. I just, I can't fathom 100,000 people who care enough to, you know, to watch my videos. And it's a really hard thing to wrap your head around but it is also a really rewarding thing. It's a whole lot of fun. And one of my biggest goals for 2021 is to bring somebody on to help me. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what capacity that means. Is it helping me edit videos, helping me record? Is it helping me tattoo? Or am I gonna bring somebody on and help them? I don't know, but I want to do something more beyond what I'm doing now. Again, I say we need to push ourselves, but if I'm not pushing myself, then I'm not setting an example for anybody. So I wanna to continue to push myself. I wanna see what we can do in 2021. And I just really honestly wanna say thank you. Thank you guys for taking the time. Thank you for building a relationship with me and allowing me to build a relationship with you. I'm truly humbled by the love and support that you guys give because again, I'm nothing more than just an average run of the mill tattooer. And um, you guys know that. And so that support means even more to me. And so I thank you for that. Also, on a side note, when we do hit 100,000 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. I've got uh, a couple machines. I'm gonna order another machine here soon. So I have three machines and some other stuff to, uh, to give away. And I think we're gonna have a few different winners. So if you're interested in that, hang around, stick around till we hit 100K, and then I hope you stay longer. So I guess in a nutshell, what happened this year is we stayed consistent. We stayed motivated, we kept working, and we kept pushing and setting goals and trying to accomplish them. That's it. In a nutshell, that's all we did this year. But it's been a really fun ride. It's been exciting. It's been awesome to meet different people. And uh, I look forward to what is going to come in 2021. I got some good ideas. Again, I hope I can make them happen. So again, thank you guys. Much love, much respect. Peace. Boom, 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 boom.